I think my entire approach to marketing can be summarized with this one story from this morning, which I'm going to share on today's episode. Basically, I look at marketing as building acquirable assets, assets that can be acquired, which also serve to do marketing for the company versus burning money. And so in this episode, I'm going to share this story and I'm going to give examples of burning money and examples of building acquirable marketing assets. So this morning I had a call with this guy. He has a company that has 50,000 users. In order to actually join as a user, you have to pay a small fee to join. And then you can get a higher tier where you pay every month to use this service. It's a dating app. And so a lot of people, they want to pay the highest amount so that they have the best chances to meet the love of their lives. So the app is making money. In fact, it's making enough money that they want to up their marketing game. And so little growth hacks, it's no longer really worth it. These small growth hacks were good for getting them from 3,000 to 6,000 users. But now instead of growth hacking, they need to do growth marketing. And so I said, what are you thinking? This guy tells me that they're hoping to do a big viral stunt, an expensive viral stunt. They want to make a video on Richard Branson's yacht. And this is what I said. I said, take that money and invest in building acquirable marketing assets. These, so these are assets that even if the company went under, these assets would be so valuable that you could sell off these assets individually. I said, invest in bottom of funnel search engine optimization. Before I explain how to do that, a quick rundown of what it is, is bottom of funnel SEO targets search terms, keywords, things that people put into Google where they know what they want, but they don't know the brand or product that will give it to them. They are at the bottom of the purchasing funnel, at the bottom of the using funnel. They know what they want. They just need to find the brand that will give them what they want. Money is in hand. And so I said, you need to do two things. You need to build a lot of links. Their current domain authority. Domain authority is a score ranking the SEO potential of a website, a zero to 100 score. The higher the domain authority, the more keywords and the more competitive keywords a website can rank for. My website is 32. Their website is in the 30s. 30s is pretty good, but they can up it. They can do a hard press press push and get into the 50s easily. So here's what I said. I said, you want to outsource writers You want to do some press activities and you want to outsource people to pitch to journalists. So outsource SEO writers doing the same method that I talked about on yesterday's episode where I found low cost video editors and I met with them yesterday and now they're working for one of our companies. We're paying them. They're working for one of our companies. We pay them $62 a week. They put out a video every day for our company and you can do the same for SEO writers. Search on Instagram, SEO writer or writer. Find people who are not North America or Western Europe. Interview these people. Look at samples. Show them what they have to do in terms of writing bottom of funnel SEO content. I have a billion, I have a bajillion, gillion, bajillion, so many guides on my website showing how to do this. And in this podcast, I want to correct myself. Yesterday's episode was actually about bottom of funnel SEO for alternative landing pages, like alternative to your competitors. So you can listen to that one. The episode before that, that was the one that was about how to find low cost skilled labor, which is what we have done. So you want to outsource your writers, follow the method that I just said, and then you want to build your domain authority. You want to increase it. So here's some quick things to do. Put out a press release with PR log, pay for the full package. That's $615. Launch on product hunt, launch on beta list, and then use the same method that you're using to get writers. Use it to get people who can pitch journalists every day. With an app that has 50,000 users, if not a lot of people are talking about it, there should be. That's a decent milestone. Get your app into and through the top tech publications that will build domain authority fast. Hire people to reach out to journalists. You can pay what we are paying. I think it's $6.88 an hour. Have them track journalist outreach and follow up and follow up and follow up. And this will increase your domain authority fast. I personally have done journalist outreach many times. And now I'm at a point where it's something that anybody can do. I can show them how to do it. It's very easy. I've also talked about how to do it on this show. The people doing journalist outreach can get the journalists' emails and phone numbers with the Lucia.com Chrome extension. L-U-S-H-A.com. 
So you want to do that. You want to invest in bottom of funnel SEO targeting use cases for your brand or alternative to competitors and outsourcing the SEO process to people who are not in North America or in Western Europe. That's the first thing. And once you do that, once you build this funnel and you have all of these bottom of funnel search engine optimization pages that are ranking well on Google, that becomes an acquirable asset. Your company is not doing well. You got to shut it down. You literally could take that funnel and sell it to a competitor. And the competitor will just change the copy and the images and the call to actions. The URLs will live on the competitor's site, but you'll put in 301 redirects. So your site will now pass on the link juice and 301 redirect to your competitor. That's very valuable, crazy valuable. That is an acquirable marketing asset. It brings you users, it brings you customers. And if things don't go well, that asset can get acquired. And then the other example, instead of paying for a big video on Richard Branson's yacht, and by the way, paying for a big video, that, that could be smart. If you are Mr. Beast and you spent 14 years making and learning how to make viral videos, and that was just all you've trained to do, and that's all you know to do, like Mr. Beast, that can be really smart. And if you're not that, then it can be a crapshoot. It can be a gamble. Whereas investing in bottom of funnel SEO, that is not a gamble. That is not a gamble. That is something that will bring you, that is a reliable method that will bring you customers and users and that you can sell off eventually if you want to. Another example is investing in a mobile video brand. This is different from betting the farm on a one-off viral video. Use the same method to get people for TikTok. You could get an editor and do a faceless channel. You could get an actor or an actress. You can get a writer who writes daily news stories in your niche. And then you have the actor or actress read that. And then you have the editor edit that. If it's an hour of work for each person, pay them each $62 a week doing it again, not in North America and Western Europe. Have them make a video every single day. That is what we are doing for our company with editors who we found on Instagram in Poland, here in Poland. Video every day. You could follow many different content strategies. I talk about them all the time on the show. It could be reading the news and then occasionally that channel promotes your product. It could be only about your product. And then you've built this thing that's constantly bringing you traffic because even my videos from a year ago are being watched. And these videos can constantly be reused and reshared on Instagram and TikTok and go viral over and over again. It's insane. And what you're doing here is you're not, like I said, you're not betting the farm on having one viral video. You're just putting out a video a day and eventually your quality goes up over time. Your likelihood at increasing viral content also goes up, but it's super low cost. And it, again, is a lot more reliable. Another example, paid ads. I think paid ads are great when you have positive unit economics worked out. And when paid ads are reliable, it's a reliable way to get a return. That's great. But a lot of people are just burning money on paid ads, burning all their money on paid ads without positive unit economics. Or they do paid ads until it stops working and then they keep going with it. I'm not opposed to paid ads, but I am opposed to risky, expensive marketing strategies when you could be doing bottom of funnel SEO or spending very little money to build a video brand that can be leveraged and sold. See, the problem is bottom of funnel SEO. Oh, before I say what the problem is, you also use reusevideo.com so that all of these videos come out without the TikTok watermark on every single platform, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Facebook, Snapchat. They come out everywhere automatically so that you grow on each platform. The problem with these strategies is that most people can only think in the short term. And these are long-term strategies. And I am a long-term person. I am a consistent person. I am a long-term person. I believe that consistency over time conquers everything. It's like erosion. And I am a river cutting through the mountains. And that's what these strategies are. Over time, you build things that are so valuable so valuable, people can't even comprehend it when you start. And it's inexpensive. And one of the reasons that it's inexpensive is because it takes a while and people don't have patience. It could take six months. It could take a year. It could take a year and a half. Wow. But then you've created something that is evergreen, something that brings you clicks, that brings you traffic, that brings you users and customers 
for years and years and years and which can be leveraged almost in perpetuity. And also, you are more likely, if you do the, with the viral video thing, you're more likely to get a viral video by doing many videos than just trying to go for one with little experience. Even if you are an advertising agency and you have experience making ads, part of the reason that well-produced ads get, gets views is because a ton of money is put behind them in terms of ad placement. Whereas if that same agency had to make a viral video, had to make a video that would just drop on YouTube and go viral, most of the time they would fail because it's a lot more competitive. It's a lot harder to make super well-performing organic content. And you're better off being the river, cutting through the mountains. And then eventually you have that big wave and it's followed by many more waves, that big viral video, just because you're trying over time. But even the small videos can be leveraged. You're building a brand. You're building something that can be acquired. So this is how I think about marketing, which is not the way that a lot of other people think about marketing. My way takes longer, but it's less expensive, it's more reliable, and it can ultimately be acquired. This is episode 222 of The Edward Show. This is my daily growth hacking, growth marketing podcast. I do this thing every single day. I think this is a really good episode. I think this is a very informative ep episode. I'm happy with how this came out. When I wrote the notes about recording this this morning, I was feeling really inspired. And I think it shows because I, I like what I explained on this episode. I've had a bunch of people reach out to me as well, saying how much they like the show. I want to thank all of you for doing that. It means so much when I receive messages like this. I, I can't even express it. It's still, t it's crazy that people listen to me. As I'm this kid from Brooklyn, traveling in Europe, recording on this mic. The mic that I'm recording on, my, my friend, he's the executive director of events at Forbes. One of my closest friends. I met him, we were both interns at ABC in Manhattan in 2000 nine, I think. And so he got me this really nice microphone and I travel around with it recording throughout Europe. And when the package came to my house in Brooklyn, this was when I was home over the summer. I had no idea what it was. And I'm like, oh my God, Brett got me something because sometimes he gets me very comical gifts and it was this really useful thing. And so I'm just this I, like, I'm just this guy from Brooklyn traveling through Europe and recording on this microphone in my office. And people all around the world are listening. And I just started this podcast over the summer. It's crazy. It's, it's crazy to me. You know, this, this podcast, it's the river. It's the river cutting through the mountains because I do it every day. I've never missed a day so far. Knock on wood. I don't plan on missing a day. Consistency and building acquirable assets. Thank you so much for listening. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.